Our promise. Go all in. Go all in. Our promise. Our promise. Our promise. Never give up. Never, never give up. up. I promise, I promise to never give up. To never give up. I'm here um, because I'm stuck. I, d I just really need to get clear on what I want out of the rest of my life. Try to better myself. Looking for uh, changes in my life and thought that this would be a good way to do it. It's one thing to talk about power and capacity and push it to your limits. It's another thing to actually do it when you get on the beaches. When you're fighting for your life. When you're fighting for what it is that you want inside your life. Guys just want a coast. To basically get unstuck. It's, uh, I need clarity. I need to gain clarity of, uh, in a lot of aspects of my life. I want to learn how to be a better leader and I want to learn the targets that I need to go to in business and how to attain those. We are very specific and intentional on how we live, how we operate, and what we do inside of Man Wealth. There's a reason you are here. There's a reason that you have the current reality that you have inside of your life because of the choices, the decisions, the actions that you have made, that you have chosen on a daily basis, that have given you your current reality. And we are here to fix that. Brothers, here at Manworth Immersion, you made the trek from across the country. Some of you just the next state over, and some of you three time zones over. Some of you signed up a few months ago, and one of you signed up just a few days ago. You arrived here with high hopes and expectations that you could have an experience that would transform your world so that you could go back home to be the leader that you want to be, the leader of your marriage, the leader for your children. And as you arrived here, we started with planks, listening to instructions. Fernando, you started to recognize how much you have let yourself physically go, where once you, you used to be a champ, and now you're recognizing that you can no longer do that anymore. Down on the beach, into the ocean, onto the sand, filling bags up. You started to feel pain, every one of you. And then one of the greatest gifts happened. One of our brothers, Fernando, you couldn't take it for a moment. You weren't used to this, you said. I wasn't used to another man talking to me like this. And so you left and we as a group of men begin to look for you. Get your sandbags and let's go find him. Right now is looking for one of our lost brothers. And what happened is we got caught so caught up in our own misery that we didn't see when one went missing. We weren't present. We weren't present and we lost a brother. Can he come back? We're gonna find out where he's at. But what are the lessons that you can extract from this? There's a gift in everything. Find that, all right? There's a gift in everything in life. What are the lessons that we can learn from this? How can you apply these to all, all of the big four? The big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. All right, we're gonna walk up, keep up. And your brothers came and found you. And they talked to you, they plead with you. Even to the point where they said, you cannot leave. I know you guys went through some, some stuff while you were looking for me, but it meant the world to me that you guys did. And even though it took me a little bit to accept you know, and I was still fired up a little bit. Deep down inside at that time, I was grateful that you guys went and even cared to look for me. So I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that, you know, the whole physical part was extremely difficult for me. And you guys just never gave up. You guys never said, hey, just whatever, let him, let him go. He's never gonna make it. You guys were right next to me. Every one of you, um, showed up for me, and I hope in some way I showed up for you guys and I can someday return the favor because I really, really appreciate it. One of the greatest gifts of this for you, Fernando, was that your brother stepped up for you, especially your brother you already have a connection with, Jamie. Jamie, a man you faced so many adversities inside of personal relationships, now I saw you take a bold stand for your brother, for all the men in the Ted, you begin to see yourself inside of one of your brothers and a fight almost ensued on the very first night of Nanworth Immersion. It's exactly the fucking demon that chases me around, that makes me run away from my fucking son. And I'm watching him. And you got a son who to fucking depends on. Dude, you on mentioned him. my son one more time. 
underground is a motherfucking problem. Really? Yeah. Really. What's going I'm on? Gonna, I'm not gonna tell you again. I'm saying that with respect to you, you, bro. I'm not trying to disrespect you. So what I said. I'm not gonna tell you again. The incredible gift was that you began to see the power of association, the power of being around each other. All of you, I've seen all of us uh, go fist to fist and then uh, ready to go fist to fist and, and then uh, we're getting emotional, hugging and, and we bonded and um, that was awesome because it's not always that as men we get to bond like that with other men. Um, oftentimes I know that for myself I find myself on an island and I think that I'm not, that what's happening to my life is, is unique and coming here and sharing your experiences with me just uh, reminds me that I'm not alone. We know what is on the line. I'm gonna tell you, you guys are the first group that we have ever had that has opened up like you have in the first few hours, like ever. Do not let it be for nothing. All in. All, all, in. In. all 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 in. The next morning, into the ocean, into the beach, crawling, running. And one of you had an experience picking each other up, leading each other. Aaron, I remember you looking like you were about to pass out. Chris Schwartz wondering, what am I doing here? Is this really what I signed up for? The beach would crush each one of you, pushing you to new heights, letting you know that you are capable of so much more. These sandbags that we are carrying around represent the stories that you, each and every one of you carry around that holds you back. You don't want to let go. You just want to hang on to it because you know it, it's comfortable. It's serving some purpose. It really isn't serving you inside of your life. But yet you can't let go of the fucking stories because you believe that they're absolutely true when they're not. My foot! Man, just go. touch my foot! Just touch my foot! It's hard to go! Get there! Two more, two more. How you go? Ryan, your ability to lead, this was not new for you. This was familiar territory. Being in the Marine Corps, although young in years, experienced and wise in leadership and physical pain and the ability to do so much more than you think is possible. I couldn't even think of a lesson on the hill because I was over there just hiding the entire time, hiding behind everything else in my life than what was real. So being able to be in front of you gentlemen and show who I really was and what I was really feeling was very empowering because it was like, well, this to me is the lowest form that I could feel right now. So. I mean, if I could expose myself in front of you gentlemen, in front of somebody that I was actively, you know, as a client right now, then I could do it to anybody. You know, I could feel exposed to anybody and feel natural and calm in my environment and be able to approach all these situations um, that I'm dealing with, good and bad, not just the bad, but the good, uh, as a powerful man, not just to business and to staff members and the clients, but to my children and to my wife as well. As we began to do the work on Holy Hill, Warming up, running, each one of you, Aaron, Chris, Ryan, Jamie, and Fernando, you finding a whole nother power inside of yourself. And then came one of the evolutions that it pays to be a winner. And Chris, almost to the finish line, to completion, and you took your foot off the gas pedal. You know, it was pretty ironic that, that I was, you know, in the lead like that, and, and you know, pretty much should have took in the lead and, and got that and I just fucking gave up and uh, you know that wasn't that wasn't an accident that wasn't today that was a real a real metaphor for my fucking life you know like so many times I, I fucking thought I was at the finish line and I, I claimed victory and in came someone else right behind you and a lesson you learned that this is how you've been living your life for so long and you made up your mind on holy hill but no more but even more so Chris you knew this was never, ever about money. This was never, ever about stuff. About your daughter. About your wife. It's about your family. We're all 
carrying around those stories and, and all the stuff that we that we brought in here. And it's like, man, like nobody, you guys don't know me. You don't you don't need to give a shit or, or help me. But we all just like we came together to just you know help each other push through all that in such in such a powerful way. Like it, again, it's just authentic. Like it wasn't like, hey, we're at this event. Let me you know let me slap this guy on the chest and kick him in the ass and like you know rot like. There was just so much raw, real emotion and just love in this room. Each one of you have had experiences here, newfound levels of power and certainty, carrying the bags up and down the hill, changing, communicating, lifting each other's burdens, learning that together you can do more. As a group, you can go further, farther, faster sharing experiences, sharing your heart, recognizing that this is not the end. While this is a three and a half day experience, brother, for you, this is simply the beginning of a lifelong journey of power, of possibility, of purpose. I came here at a point where I thought, it's just over, it's too late, you know, you can't do this again. And I found out that it's not over, you know. You have to get committed, and uh, I'm definitely committed to um, doing all the things I want to do in life. But I'm also committed to you guys and proving to you guys that I'm not just up here talking bullshit. Like, everything I want to happen is going to happen, and I want to prove it to everybody here. Not only myself, but I'm going to prove it to everybody here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to watch you guys and make sure everything's happening um, that you guys want. You make a covenant with each other right here, right now. Look each other in the eyes and tell yourself. Promise each other that you will create a new story that will serve you. And that if you ever see a brother oh not doing, not living, what you promise to each other right here, right now, that you will slap the shit out of him and remind him of what truly matters, of his holy cause. Will you do that, brothers? I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Look each other in the eye. Promise each other. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, promise. Promise.